good. It's your boy Tweez. It's your boy Mike James, man. Coming at you hot and fresh. And I'm King David, otherwise known as Outer Space Dave. You know what I'm saying? That's that's us, NFO Gang. It's our first podcast. Uh, we trying this out, so bear with us. Facts. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no real formula to this. You know, we just gonna jump right into that thing. Yeah, we're about to wing it. We see, we got the crown. Uh, no, no ice. ice. <laughs> <laughs> the crown, no ice. No ice, baby. We're gonna get right into this, you know what I'm saying? I don't really know what we was. We ain't really had no topic, but uh Nah, we just uh winging it right now, you know, we just wanted to put some information out there, you know. Yeah, so I mean if you knew to NFO gang, you know what I'm saying, we've been doing this um uh, the clothing and and uh, the reaction videos, the vlogs. We've been doing shit like that for about a year now. So right here on this channel, you probably already know. So now we're trying to step into this podcast game and uh, make something happen. Facts. So we got our main man King David on board. That's you know what I'm saying? You know, part of the game. You know what I'm saying? My dog out here. Uh, Doing work in the field, man. Tell them, tell them what you be doing, dog. Man, listen, I do a little bit of everything for real. You know what I mean? Videography. Uh, we got the, you know, the promos going on. You know, we'll get to that another time, though. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, just a little yeah. bite-sized information. You know what I'm saying? But definitely, you'll be able to find our information. You know, we're gonna plug it in for sure. That's that. That's oh, that. So in the description. And, oh, um, but real talk though, like how, how this all kind of came together though, for real. We got to talk about the the group chat chronicles. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Like, okay. <laughs> it, yeah. we put some some wild shit in the group chat, just to say the least. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You know, we definitely uh. Talk about everything under the sun, you know what I'm saying? So, what we can put out there, we gonna <laughs> <laughs> we gonna put it on the podcast, you know what I'm saying? So, right, you know, we are gonna probably touch on some controversial issues, life issues. For sure, you know, we are gonna take it. We know we are gonna make the uh, the we might get political. We might. It might get touch hot. On, touch on some racism and shit like that. It might get saying? hot, bro. It might get hot. It might get hot. So, speaking of hot. with us. Facts, facts. Shout out to Duke Energy because it is warm and toasty in here. <laughs> facts. <laughs> we got the lights booming. We got box lights, ring lights. I hope all this lighting is good for y'all. We definitely yeah. putting this on YouTube, too. I feel good. No, oh, that's what's up. My neck's sweating like a motherfucker. We got this ass wall hoodie on too, you know what I'm saying? I both came in here like it's cold outside, you know. Yeah, I got to have no visitor. I I gotta dress for the months. Oh, you might go. No. Big facts, bro. Big facts. It's pneumonia weather. Oh, old, old, old lady voice. Auntie, <laughs> <and> grandma voice. <laughs> it's definitely pneumonia weather. This how they can be getting sick. Yeah, man. Don't so, let them uh, people tell you otherwise. Facts, real talk. But I'm okay, yeah, man. So you know, just a little introduction. You know what I'm saying? My dog Twan and David work together. You know what I'm saying? So we all came together. You know, through mutual, mutual uh, connections, and you know the vibe was right. You know what I'm saying? We all feed off each other, and uh, we've been trying to do this creative thing for a few months. You know what I'm saying? So, we're just trying to make some things happen. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it. You know what you're saying. Hey, that's my new slogan. Yeah. I'm about to put on yeah, a t-shirt. Yeah, I know what he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely need a t-shirt. Oh, that's all right. you're about to do. That's all you're about to do. <laughs> that nigga be like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Check hey, out that Teddy Swims, y'all. Everybody's going to catch freeze. You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? No, but for real. 
Real talk though, man. So let's we'll jump right into it, man. I I sent y'all some shit and I was I was floored. I was yeah man. flabbergasted. Okay, <laughs> the video of a nigga. He yeah. comes home to catch his girl, his pregnant girl, getting smashed by another dude. And she Crazy. tells him to get out. That's wild. Like, we we gonna play the clip, right? Yeah, we play the clip. Play the clip right now. Play the clip. You play the clip. I'm gonna play the clip. Hold on. What is shit at? Hold on, let me play the clip. I thought Mike was gonna play it. We don't know Michael. where it's at. Hold on, I got it right here in the group chat. <laughs> I got it right here. Facts. You can't so, delete the group chat. Nah. Oh my bad. Y'all heard me crunching that ice. They took the last of the fucking ice. They just wrong. Got these niggas drinking hot lava. <laughs> I'm over here. And then brought the bag in here full of snowflakes. <laughs> like, do I think it's want some of this ice? <laughs> that shit was slush, bro. Alright, so. Hold on. Let me get some. Then this nigga said, watch out, Thomas. Like the nigga that like was... he knew Thomas. <laughs> watch out, Thomas. Hey, how how y'all gonna handle that? If, if somebody, if you come into the house and you see somebody, if you seen Thomas smashing your girl, how you about to act? Bro. Mm, to be honest, I don't even know. Cause I ain't never really been in that situation before, but I might Kirk out, you know what I'm saying? Just cause you in my career, you know what I'm saying? Just disrespect in the spot, you True. know? Ain't no telling where y'all was getting busy at, you know what I'm saying? My bed, couch, kitchen, nigga about to make a sandwich. Her ass cheeks and shit on the counter, you know what I'm saying? Like you just gotta, I don't know, man. I'm trying to put myself there, you know. Well, I feel like if he had a, if he was able to come in with a camera and mm. record the situation, he kind of knew what was going on. Word. So he tried to catch him in the act. Word. So me, personally, not only would I had recorded that shit, I would have bought some gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> A motherfucking match. <laughs> and I would have scorched that whole fucking room. Everybody did. Damn, nigga, you toxic. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 Bruh. <laughs> I'm, I'm coming in the room splashing gas, kerosene. Yeah, I don't know about all that. Nah, I ain't gonna That's like a lifetime. No, don't like shot charge. Yeah. She probably was ran through anyway. Most niggas know they they bitches a how a, a hoe before they uh <laughs> before they even talk for real. You know what I'm saying? But but really does it? And that that's another topic. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, so just I'm peel the layer. Uh, just I pull the peel the layer, man. So I personally I don't I don't give a fuck what the body count was prior to me. It's none of my business. You right. know what I mean? True. You know, just don't bring no whole baggage into our shit and we good. You feel me? Like, I, I wouldn't give a fuck if, unless niggas used to run trains on you and then that's a different story. I, I don't think I could recover from that, but I mean. I mean, I don't know about, I don't really necessarily care about body count. But if you know she a hoe, I just feel like once a hoe, always a hoe. So if you a hoe, you probably then had a bunch of niggas. You couldn't find one that satisfied you enough. So what makes me think I'm gonna be the one? You know what I'm saying? But like, like you can definitely. She might do it on the sneaky, on some sneaky shit. Like, damn, I gotta fuck with another nigga right quick. Like I love this nigga, but Tyrone, I know he about to. Pound me out one good time. He ain't gonna say shit. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. But body count don't always mean you a hoe. Exactly. So. But if you know, but if you know your like, say you fucking with a junk, and you know she fuck with mad niggas, but you like her. You know what I'm saying? Like, you mm. think she ain't gonna do you dirty just because it's you? We we would hope to think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that ain't always the case. So. You, you know, I mean, if you if you been a dog and you've been cheating on bitches your whole life, and you find that one person, are you gonna stop cheating? Are you gonna still be a cheater? I think you gotta look at, at girls the same way. You know, it, it might maybe you just wasn't the nigga to take her out of that whole shit. True. Mm -hmm. Y'all hoes don't. Uh, Tune in, you know what I'm saying? Let us know what y'all think. Put some put some, <laughs> put some comments. Put some input in here, yeah, man. Let us know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's crazy. Um I mean, like y'all said, man, body count at a certain age really shouldn't be a deciding factor because you really truly don't know somebody's past if you like don't know them, right? mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Especially if you were, if you from out of town and you come to a new area, you mess around and meet somebody and she known in the streets. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You, who you gonna who you gonna get the car facts from? You know what I'm saying? So that's true. It's just one of those situations where you just have to hope and pray like she a good one. But for them dudes out there trying to. Be captain, save them. I mean, you know what you're getting into. True. So you really can't be on some. I thought you were different. I thought you was going to change. Like, nah. You know what I'm saying? So, I will be upset. But, like you said, if he already kind of knew what he was getting into, he already had the camera ready. You know what I'm saying? It's just one of them things where you just gotta take your L. I mean, if she told that nigga to get out, obviously, it's she probably her spot. Yeah, for sure. Show. And he probably was on some simp shit anyway. So sure. she felt like she didn't even tell a nigga. If she even got the, the, the motherfucking courage to tell a nigga to get out while she getting smashed by another nigga. Yeah, that's mad disrespectful. That, that nigga that came in the room. You said she was pregnant, right? Yeah, that's, See, that's what makes it. 10 times worse because this is supposed to be your seed, possibly. Do we don't know now? Yeah, you might be Thomas's. It's probably, yeah. <laughs> more likely it's Thomas's. Baby. You feel me? So it's just like you really think this might be your first child, emotions going all over the place, and now you confused, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. What you, how you feel? I, you know, fuck her. Ain't shit worth my freedom at the end of the day. Facts. But if she gonna be out here hoeing, you not about to stick no baby that ain't mine on me. A word, word. You know, which brings us to what was the topic you was talking about? Should should niggas get uh, fraternity tests? Right, like I said fraternity tests, like some shit called maternity <laughs> tests, <laughs> DNA paternity. tests, yeah. paternity, paternity, maternity, <laughs> paternity. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. Actually, you niggas ain't alphas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually think that's a good idea. <laughs> I actually about. feel like that would be a great idea, bro, to get a DNA test at birth. Like, I feel like that should be a requirement unless you deny it. Like, I don't want to take it. I know that's mine. But you should be required because I feel like that will save a lot of time wasted. Right, because you ain't gonna catch me signing the birth certificate and have to pay child support and shit. You right? feel Because there's people out here that pay child support because they own the birth certificate in certain mm -hmm. states. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, nah, G, 18 years and you just out here just holding it down for somebody that ain't yours. chores. Like, well, I mean, nah. not only that, though, just think, you know, you grow up your whole life 
and you go into school with people and these are really this might be your brother and you don't even know that's crazy because your mama lied to you that's some wrong old shit that somebody else was your dad yeah you know? for sure but i agree i think it should be mandatory you know um yeah y'all don't have kids yet and i got a shit ton of them so i i can tell you you know, from experience, you know, whenever the baby's born, they get tested for all sorts of things. You know, they test them to to see if, you know, the mother was drinking or whatever during the pregnancy mm -hmm. for, you know, fetal alcohol syndrome and all that stuff. It's a perfect time. Just go ahead and swab that baby. Yeah. Swab that man. You know, I don't care if you're married, been in a committed relationship. It was a one night stand, you know. I think you just get that shit out the way up front, so that way ain't no question. Yeah. Know? So when they awkward, I think it's free when it's birth time, right? It's free, but you gotta pay for it if you go through the court. I, I think it's like I, I don't know. Huh? I think it's yeah. I think it's like five or eight hundred if you take it to court. Who knows how much it costs if you take it to more? It's probably free. It's true. probably free because it's making a mockery out of your ass. Like, true. We need you for entertainment purposes. For yeah, sure. That's true. Man, what's even worse, man? Speaking of Ari, man, like, mm. and they be having Shorty on there and it be like her fifth time and they still don't bro. know who the baby's daddy is and she want to cry and all that other shit. Like, run off the stage. Yeah. That show be doing me. black people dirty for you. Hell yeah. <laughs> be doing the cabbage patch. <laughs> bro, like, like, I told you. I told you. It's crazy, bro. Yeah. Jerry Springer the same way. Yeah, yeah bro. At least Jerry Springer had. Diverse. Yeah, it definitely had. You had white, Mexican, black folks on there. Yeah, trannies, midgets, strippers. Uh, hell yeah. All types of shit. All Jerry types Springer. of shit. Yeah, you didn't know what you was going to get. Never, right. bro. Yeah. I always wanted to go on Jerry Springer. Like, not on the show, but just go watch the audience. You know, yeah, I too. Just, yeah. I watch that shit now, like, every day. Well, right. I think it's free. Is it? Yeah, I think all you gotta do is just get put on the waiting list. Yeah, I used to want to go to that job. I remember back in the day, my grandma, uh, rest in peace, she she ended up getting uh, the Jerry Springer wrong and uncut. That job. <laughs> I used to be like, bro, what's this? She was like, go put that back. <laughs> <laughs> they be gone. I pull out the motherfucking VCR. Like, man, I'm watching this. It wasn't nothing but a bunch of titties. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it was just like the uncensored Jerry Springer shows. Yeah. But as a little nigga in the early 90s, you like, damn, this shit's so fire. You know what I'm saying? You don't get to see titties that often. Yeah, I always wanted a copy of that. Yeah, I used to have that jump. Same thing for the, um, What's that shit used to come on there? Girls gone wild. Bro. Girls, girls gone wild. I just knew that was what my life was going to be like. Yeah, in New Orleans, seeing a bunch of titties. No, That's pretty much how Girls Gone Wild was. The beach in New Orleans. Yeah, the spring break. Spring break. Yeah. 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 You know, that's some niggas' moms right now, bro. Like, imagine. Like, <laughs> oh, you see them throwback pictures of, like, freak nigga shit back in the day? <laughs> I used to be like, bro, because my aunties and shit, they used to go to that shit uh -huh. in Atlanta. So I used to be like, damn. Crazy, bro. Niggas getting smashed outside in front of people. And wow. They all had the little bob cuts, the hairy coochies. <laughs> <laughs> shit, I think my little sister was in freak neck. Mm. You know, back in the day in the 90s, though, that was. That was their jam. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Man. That's why black was beautiful. We still grow black is still beautiful, though. Uh, black is still, still beautiful. Oh, yeah, it's black is still beautiful, yeah. but the, the culture different. True. You know what I'm saying? It was a whole lot of togetherness in the 90s. You know what I'm saying? Like, But they just be acting like they were saints. Yeah, and for sure. looking at their daughters now, like I would have never did no shit like yeah, this. Yeah, they wild. Nigga, you worse. <laughs> you were doing worse. Yeah, worse. Uncle Luke come out. Right. It's, it's, old. it's a whole new. Uh, it's a whole new motherfucking guardian. <laughs> <laughs> a whole new uh, motherfucking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. A motherfucking uh, authority figure. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Yeah, like, 
and my old VHS, man. You can get on YouTube, man. They still, people uploaded some shit on YouTube, man. That's yeah. some freak dick videos. Niggas got the so camcorders on their shoulder going wild, man. You know, these shits was like probably a thousand dollars back then. So yeah, they, yeah. all the dope boys probably had a little camera for free meat. Mm -hmm. Damn, I would have loved to experience that. They were supposed to bring it back a couple years ago. Sure, we're leaving up. Cancel yeah. that shit. They canceled it out that they had it. I think they tried to have it, but it was like a toned down version. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Atlanta got real commercialized. They was like, yeah, we can't have yeah, bro, niggas fucking like, in the streets no more. We trying to yeah, Atlanta wow. our image. If these these young kids ain't even uh, they too violent, bro. Like too aggressive. I just feel like the girls down there wouldn't. I mean, they probably was having it was probably some wild stuff going on. But I feel like now with social media, bro, the exposure would just. Have the whole world looking in, mm -hmm. and they, mm -hmm. you know that'll be on CNN, and, right? Looking at how black people act in groups, like, you know they're trying to turn that uh, just turn the narrative. You know what I'm saying? Just I don't know. Like, today's news live from Atlanta. We had Freak Nick. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't get the, the name right. Freak Nick. Freak Nick. <laughs> we have Freak Nick, and uh, we have Uncle Luke. <laughs> <laughs> we just there trying to have a good time. Right. Shake some ass. Facts. The music yeah. would have just been having everybody mad aggressive because ain't no like ass shaking music for real no more. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm no saying? No Wop might have them going crazy. Yeah, you know. Yeah. A couple of a couple of Nicki Minaj jumps. A couple of Cardi B jumps. Yeah. Megan Thee Stallion. I mean they got a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I don't, but I guess when it comes to like male artists, what niggas putting out? Juicy J, he gonna, he gonna have some shit out there. Yeah, he would. Uh, who else? You'd have to get um, to bring the 69 boys out of retirement <laughs> to make it lit. You'd have For to show. get um, Trina. Trina. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lil' Kim, like, you know what I'm looking crazy. Right. You know what I'm Them city girls in there. I don't even think it would be the same, man. It wouldn't, bro, because yeah. the it's just it's like pulling out them old cats to a new era. I feel like they wouldn't get their respect, and then the new kids wouldn't be trying to listen to the old stuff. You know what I'm saying? But they'll listen to some some city girls. I guess they'll know what they can for, but I know like being in the club and shit like that. These hoes don't really be twerking like they used to either, though. Bro, they like, don't dance, that. Dance, like, bro. People don't even be dancing. Shorties just be standing around with their drink, waiting on a nigga to buy them a drink or something like that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, But I guess if they go to Freak Nick, they know what they're supposed to do. Word. But I can't even say I've had a good twerk session since probably Virginia. Yeah. <laughs> For real, for real. <laughs> like Virginia Jones, they with the shits. Shout out to my VA Jones, but Charlotte. Oh, yeah, ever since we moved down here, bro, like the club was just weird. Yeah, club weird, bro. These young girls. There's a bunch of niggas standing around. A bunch of females. Niggas be dancing around. more than the bitches. Facts. You know what I'm saying? But you know the club get weird anyway. Over thirty. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the the crowd is just different. Like if you if you go to like a twenty one and up spot, yeah. like to, like twenty one just seems so far yeah. away, bro, for me. You know what I mean? Like these niggas are like children, and it's like they act like children. Right. So I can't even cl club properly with these kids. Right. You know. Um, so I'll be looking for like the, the, the grown and sexy spots, the 25 and up yeah. spots. Those but this is even speaking from when we first moved here, like mm -hmm. 23, like. Yeah, the only, the probably the best time I had had since I moved to Charlotte when it comes to like dancing, club scenes, probably when, what's that shit up, uh, uptown used to be open beside where we Lucky's and all that shit was? Oh, uh, uh, Bar Charlotte? Yeah, Bar Charlotte, but it was a lot of young jokes in there. Yeah, you know it was club. But I'm talking about that shit used to get 
Nasty. Republic, you know, the Cosmos used to be cool, but we ain't from the old Charlotte, so I know people yeah. probably jump in here and talking about some other stuff. Three, five. Yeah, I, don't, so, I ain't been to White House or nothing yet. Nah, that's not I'm good with all that. But like David was saying, now it's all about a function, like yeah. straight lounge life, you know what I'm saying? Get you a drink, sit on the couch. Don't worry yourself out. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm it's like you really gotta scout it out. Is it is it standard room only or Word. is there boost? You know, because if it's standard room, the way my knees are set up, like, I can't stand up the whole the whole night. I gotta be able to sit down at some point. Like this with the whole when I'm out there, I'm trying to get it in. Give me like five Long Islands, bro. I'm back in my prime. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find that right way, you know, bro. I feel like we were standing for like. Oh yeah, we was definitely standing for ten hours at the Raw Wave concert. Yeah, is that the Fillmore? Yeah, yeah. It and wasn't even. Like, it wasn't even ten hours, but it felt like. It, well, you we came to the start at seven. It ain't start. It ain't into like what one or two. No nah, man, Raw Wave came on at like ten thirty. But we got there at like seven, but it was three hours of standing mm -hmm. up. Just listening to them. Shout out to niggas that got to stand on their feet for work all day. Boy, I, can't rem I can't believe I used to pull eight hours on my feet. I, I, bro, <laughs> that should be PTSD. <laughs> As a grown nigga, I'll just motherfucking do security. At least they can walk around, sit down. You know what I'm saying? But niggas that be at like eight hours at Mickey D's or something, like. Mm. That's terrible. Or, or like when they took us to the Walmart factory and shit. Uh, <laughs> them niggas, man, that's a whole different type of robot right there. Bro, shout out to y'all, man. Y'all make the world go round. Hell yeah. For sure. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna sit in my office chair. I would do construction. Or at least I can operate a machine on my ass. Not everybody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But shit, I really don't see niggas doing construction, doing much work. Every time I drive past, it's like one nigga on the equipment and it's three other dudes. Just kind of standing. Yeah. You come back the next week, it'd be a whole building up there. Right. And I'm like, man, <laughs> what did y'all do? What, what the fuck? These little worker ants just be yeah. moving. But yeah, shout out to construction niggas too. Fact, man. Shout out to the to the people that's out here working during COVID too. Yeah, like facts. The the hazardous workers, the the nurses, the doctors, the folks keeping the food spots running. Yeah, shout out to y'all. All y'all need a bonus. Hell yeah. I think Walmart just gave niggas a bonus. Some of them need a bonus. Not all of them. Yeah, not the niggas at the Walmart on Sugar Creek. <laughs> them niggas don't need no bonus, bruh. Why the fuck my food always cold and the line be deep? You would think when a line is long, food gotta be fresh mm -hmm. if you at the end of that bitch. You know what I'm saying? You said, you, get, you said Walmart? What you? Oh, I said McDonald's on Sugar Creek. Oh, you said Walmart. You said Walmart. Walmart. Oh, excuse me. McDonald's <laughs> on Sugar Creek is garbage. Boy. None of them niggas need a motherfucking bonus. Yeah, they need to just tear that shit down for real. McDonald's, period, man. Like, listen. No, that McDonald's and University be busting. I don't. <laughs> I don't eat that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when I do find myself wanting to slum it, you know, I do go to, to McDonald's and get fries or something like that, man. But those spicy nuggets? nuggets? You just a rude. Like, exactly. That's why you gotta go to the other ones. Don't go to the rude ones. I take my Chick fil A. I feel like a somebody when I go to Chick fil A. Facts. I mean, for I mean, you know, I don't you feel like, but that Travis Scott meal was busting. I missed that. What happened? Travis Scott had a meal at McDonald's. It was pretty much a, a quarter pounder with cheese, lettuce, onion, tomato, and shit on it. So we got a bacon. <laughs> with bacon. <laughs> with <laughs> bacon. Add bacon. With fries okay. and barbecue sauce. How he get his meals, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, it if was you want somebody to lift your business, throw Travis Scott's name in the damn promotion. Because they're going to be running. For sure. And I personally don't see why. Bruh. Bruh, I don't either, bro. I just... I fuck with Travis Scott because 
that nigga be having us doing numbers on our channel. Shout out to Travis Scott. We got a video they got like 190,000 views on that bitch because of that nigga. 200K, baby. Oh, that shit at 200? Oh, yeah. See, shout out Travis Scott. But still, Scott. man, like, fuck all that. That nigga production is fire, but that nigga just screaming on the track. And then I found out. Sai High. Uh, he right my shit. Out, right his shit. It makes sense. Sai High, bro. Them niggas be. Sleep. Sleep. Yeah, I'm sleep because I ain't listen to him yet. I keep hearing about him, but he take me time to like. I always get on one artist and listen to them forever and then go to the next one. You know what I'm saying? So it'd be kind of hard for me to just jump from artist to artist to artist. Right. I give like every artist three months worth of spins, like Van the Butcher right now. Mm -hmm. I ain't, I, that's all I've been listening to for the past few weeks since that drop. Yeah, I was asleep. I'm glad I woke up because Man. Outside, right? Nah, I've been. I, yeah, I've been outside. I don't know Benny. Yeah, me uh, too. That's, yeah, I just had my homie Josh put us on. And I was like, man, I ain't trying to listen to these New York niggas, man. They be trying too hard. But I was like, nah, this, this is that. He was uh, he was made from that old cloth. Mm -hmm. He different, bro. Like, Shit, like I was telling David, I hope he don't get, get in Dave East category, you know what I'm saying? Cause they he's he cut from a different cloth, but Nah, they different. Yeah, they, they different, different, but they but he's nice. He is nice, but he don't he don't got that that God flow. Like Yeah, he got that his flow got, is the same. Yeah, like the same cadence. And I'm cool time. with that. Yeah. Like I'm cool with it. I ain't like down on my man because I listen to East every time he dropped, but he don't have that, uh, he don't got that command. Like, he don't command my attention when I be like, oh yeah, this, this East, oof. But now, nah, Benny, bro, it's like, the first time I heard him, I was like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, because, yeah, I think it was Josh, it was somebody else to put me on Benny, too. And then I was comparing to J-Rock because I heard like J-Rock and Benny the Butcher, like I was listening to the like- Oh, you said that to Josh too. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, this shit, this shit, they got some similarities mm -hmm. when it come to their voice. Oh yeah, Clay my, uh, Smith, he also listened to Benny too, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's who put me on, I think too, Clay. But uh, I'm waiting on J-Rock to put something out. I need J-Rock to come back. That redemption shit was fire. Every track. Every single last one of them. Every man. single track. Every bro. track was crazy, bruh. He got he got a motherfucking he probably cooking up some heat, man. I hope so, bro. Cause he took up a minute to drop this time, you know what I'm saying? Top dog niggas. Yeah, it's hard for me. Every other winter's solstice. Bruh. <laughs> Cause I know it's folks out here waiting on that K dot, bro. Like he just playing with folk. You know what I'm saying? Uh, J Rock, man, like, he probably my favorite TDE artist for real. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, J Rock, yeah, definitely. I can't listen to too much Kendrick. What about uh, a RB cat, uh, Sir? I don't know who that is. I ain't, I ain't heard of Sir. Check, sir, check him out. I mean, I'm on that brink. Right so you don't fuck with Schoolboy Q? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm okay. fucking school boys too. Over J Rock? No. no. Nah. Nah. J Rock over you think? J Rock over all them niggas. No, it's definitely Kendrick. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah, Kendrick is. Kendrick is more is the more marketable and still stay true to the to the culture, but J Rock is more of a the hood. He like the boss. Of Dreamville to me, like I feel like Dreamville, Boss don't really get the looks, but he just is hard to put out dope albums. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know it's hard for people to get over Cole in the following acts, and I feel like Kendrick. I feel like Schoolboy Q probably too commercially, but for me, I mean, it's J. Rock. Schoolboy Q, he do be on some. So, like when he first first came out, I forgot what song he did, like his single that he first dropped. But, oh, yeah, well, I mean, uh, 
Yeah, it was E. Yeah, it was it? A um, studio. Oh, I yeah. I sing that shit. But, but uh, yeah. But then he had a single before that. That was, uh, that was, that was popular. But when I first heard him, I was like, oh. And then his name was Schoolboy Q, so I automatically was putting him in a category with, with fucking, like, niggas that I ain't gonna listen to. Like, a boogie with the hoodie and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I was putting in there and shit like that. But when it was like J Rock, I saw a couple videos that nigga was spinning. He was on some hood shit. Nigga in the tank top. He just gave me DMX vibes. Yeah. I was just, you know what I'm saying, vibing with that nigga a little bit more. But I fuck with Kendrick. I just can't listen. He's like one. He like one of those those voices that you don't want to hear for thirty minutes straight because. But he gonna give you thirty different voices though. That is true. You know, he gonna diversify. I get it. You know, but uh, nah, I just was trying to throw some fuel on the fire. I was, I'm fucking with J Rock. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to get a conversation started. But uh, but Kendrick has the same. So people will try to act like they don't. You know, when you was young, I don't know about for you, but I don't remember a lot of people putting three stacks on this pedestal like on Street Thousand. Okay, but for me. My sisters all have been outcast fans, so I already knew yeah. what Andre 2000 was about. But it's like now, all of a sudden, everybody has this infatuation with Andre 2000, and I feel like Kendrick, he didn't, he don't. Got, I, I, don't, I feel like he gets his flowers, but I feel like when it's all said and done, Kendrick is gonna be that 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 one. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like. Three st everybody wants our three stacks out. I'm like, we need it, we need it, we need it. You know what I'm saying? He's not gonna just give it to you because you want it. And I feel like they kind of got that similar sound a little bit, just one from the A and one from the West Coast. But yeah. but I, I think the reason why that is though, is like, I've always been an Outkast fan. Andre 3000, that's my favorite rapper, like, Her. hands down. But, he was in the year 3000 and everybody else was in 99. You real know what I mean? So he was ahead of his time for real. All the shit thug yeah. did him doing with the crazy, the clothes and shit. Benji been been on it, bro. Like, yeah. So that's real talk. But when I first started listening to Outkast though, when I was like nine, you know what I mean? I, I like Big Boy's flow better. You know what I mean? I thought, he was kind of low key hotter than, than Andre. And then I really started listening to rap music. And then I was like, no, nah, wait a minute. Nah, Bruh. <laughs> wait a minute. Bruh. True. But hands down, he king of the South. Yeah, for sure. Period. For sure. Word. Word. Without even having a solo. Yeah. It's it's crazy. Crazy. I, that's why I can't feel like he can't be king of himself if he ain't got no solo shit. I really? don't know. I don't know. I mean, he's nice. Bar for but bar. king of himself? He does have a solo album. Oh, do? The Love Below. Love Below, oh. yeah. Damn, I forgot about that shit. Even though it was a joint album, but I feel it was his own perspective. You yeah. know what I'm saying? True. I get. I mean, I could agree with three staff being king of the south just because he's the most anticipated. They yearn for that man. You know what I'm saying? Like the guys that's claimed to be the king of the south, they're not really relevant. Like, like who? Ti. Like Ti and Jeezy and like they 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 got their stamp, but I feel like. They couldn't drop a project and folks would be on it like they would in Jay. Because I feel like Jay is still king of New York. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like every time Jay drop, everybody listening. But it's only anticipated for three stacks because he ain't drop shit. You know what I'm saying? T Facts. ain't consistent. But no, but that's what I'm saying. But ain't nobody like if Jeezy was like on a five year like complete stop, I feel like his album wouldn't do as good as it. Andre 2000 drop right now. Even T.I., bro, like, he, I feel like they forcing music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They trying to be on everybody's song, have the new features, trying to experiment. They losing their they sound, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just 
forced, like for real, for real forced. But those are my guys too. Like, well, Jeezy for sure. Like, I don't miss anything he dropped, but. Low key Gucci, the king of the south. A lot of them niggas wouldn't even be here if it weren't for Gucci. Hella niggas. Well, T.I. came out before Gucci. Jeezy. I'm just saying, not, not, not a lot of niggas. Gucci. Not a lot of them niggas. But you talking about all of the new, new resurgence of the A. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the you know new A is Gucci. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, you gotta give it to Gucci too, man. Oh, shit, Nicki Minaj, everybody came to Gucci. Yeah. Mm-hmm. T.I., um, it wouldn't be no meat meal if it wasn't for Tip, really. True. You know, T.I., you gotta. True. Man true. Hustle had a little ride too. Yeah. Right. That's a conversation that uh, it's, it's all subjective. It really is. You know what I'm saying? Because you like who you like. But T.I. lost me, like, when he started talking. Bro. You know what I mean? Like, when he was still just hustle man and tip and all that stuff, but then when he started all the million dollar words expeditiously and, yeah, bro. you know, just doing way too much talking, man. Like, yeah, bro. I mean, he had to do a lot of talking for the culture, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, I'm not even talking about like talking for the culture. I'm talking about like probably felt like he had to switch up a little bit because he had to appeal to the white people too, and and he also like he had to get their point across without sounding too ignorant. But that's why he's not the king of the south. Andre three thousand ain't never ain't never switched up. No, Andre three thousand ain't not here. You know trying to get niggas you know. out of jail and you know what I'm saying. I mean, I don't know what he's doing, but he, he ain't he ain't he ain't rolling up on restaurants trying to shut establishments down for treating black people certain well, types. I'm of not even talking about you know that shit. Saying? I'm talking about like the the family hustle and all that shit. You know what I mean? It really and granted, I get it. It showed a different side of him as the family man. Yeah, he had to do a lot of shit from his he he in jail and shit. He yeah, him, bro. You know, that's yeah. what. That's what T.I. T.I. has a gimmick aura. Nothing seems organic from Tip. Yeah. I don't know. It seems organic to me, but I get it. You know what I'm saying? Him and Killer Mike get together. I like listening to them talk and shit. Yeah. So. No, I love Killer Mike. That's my dog. Mike too. But he always been revolutionary. Like, he always been like that. You know what I'm saying? But T.I., like, I don't know, man. That's, I ain't got my facts together right now for me to be dog with them, so I ain't gonna see him. Facts, facts. That's facts, true, because right. niggas will slay you. <laughs> right, yeah. And he's taking all these slay. I mean, I don't know what he's saying. I ain't even trying to take the whole thing. Oh, yeah, we get slayed all the time. It's yeah. Just, it's what we do. It ain't we here for it. Dim in his light, but it's mm-hmm. like. I like just, uh, the new TI. Like the new. Uh, the, his, his new project. So I ain't even heard it. Yeah, I mean he got a lot of features, which I think at this point in his career, he's he, unique. He's gonna yeah. need them, you know. But I liked it actually, and I liked Ti his music for a long time, you know. And then after like Iggy Azalea and all of that other stuff, I was just like, Yeah, oh, what right. what are we doing? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so true, true. Oh, you can't take his his albums away from him, like. Them first four or five joints was they was consistent. And then Paper Trail it was commercial, yeah. but it was still hot. Like everybody got their commercial album. Jay Z don't. I mean, yeah. Magna Carta was a commercial the blueprint album. Was pretty commercial. No. The blueprint. The blueprint was the commercially album. successful, but it was not okay. commercial. The black album was kind of commercial, but it was fire. Yeah. But Bad the Carter Holy Grail was commercial. Yeah. Like just, just the way he had yeah. the album out. Like just the Timberlake on it? Yeah. Is well, that what made it commercial? The whole I don't know, man. I'm not gonna the say those. You know about the catch me on here talking shit about my my man Jay, but that album was commercial. That's an album that I don't care to listen to. But yeah, it's fire. Right, right, right. Same. That's how like I'm it's sure. just like, okay, cool. That was like his that was like his like one of his like comeback albums, low key, was it like Brandon Carter was like 
You know, before, before, uh, before, before that, it was Watch the Throne. Watch the Throne with Kanye, which was crazy. What's the shit from the movie? What's that? American Gangster. Gangster. That was before that. You know, before that. And Watch the Throne, and I think, because Watch the Throne came out in 2011. Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know. We can talk about music all day. Yeah, We're yeah. already rolling up on 45, 46 minutes. Yeah, okay. for sure. Let's roll back into this ratchet shit then. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We might have to start shit. wrapping this shit up. Niggas probably like, all right. All right, yeah, look. Yeah. Okay. Hey, it's, gonna, <laughs> hey, it's gonna go all over the place. You know what I'm saying? It's we like, we yeah. ain't got to where we feel like it's a good cutoff point yet. Yeah, I see a lot of podcasts usually 30 minutes or so, mm -hmm. shit like that. I mean, you got some podcasts, it's two hours. We ain't Joe Budden in them, but you know what I'm saying? We gotta, we gotta get y'all drawn in. Yeah, we gotta yeah, drop yeah, in yeah, two, yeah. three hour podcasts on y'all, you know what I'm saying? For sure. But, uh, you know, we can talk all day about music and uh, we can talk all day about ratchet shit, for real. Yeah, but, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we gotta have some more shit to talk about next time. Most definitely, man. If y'all if y'all feeling this shit, you know, let us know. You know, let us know. Good, bad, whatever. Good, Give bad. Us, leave a comment. You know what I'm saying? Let us know. Give us some tips and pointers. I know a lot of podcasters out there personally. So y'all people are just let us know what we can do better. If you hear a lot of echoing, if you feel like the sound ain't right, let us know. You yeah. want some background, you know, you want some posters. You want some <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? For sure. We we, we about to we about to turn this shit up for y'all. Yeah, so man, this is this is really just the the pilot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just we just <laughs> we embrace <laughs> how this fucking word pilot. You know, <laughs> you know the pilot episode. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? Like this might be this might get you the season. It might not. It might get you the season one, you know. Mm -hmm. Might get you six episodes, might get you twelve, you know what I'm saying? We just right. trying to we trying to see, you know what I'm saying, fill it out. You know, Facts. it's gonna be way more organized, you know what I'm saying? We just freestyle right now, so. Yeah, we definitely gonna freestyle. So, all y'all black graphic designers and, uh, you know what I'm saying, intro makers, shit like that. I mean, we do a lot of shit in the house, but if y'all come with them good deals and y'all wanna make it make this shit fire, let us know. Yeah, real talk. So, what? Shit, what y'all think? I think it's time to wrap this shit up. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. We're gonna wrap it up then. <laughs> it's your boy Tweez. Make sure y'all hit that like, subscribe, comment, all that. You know, Keep you know. Us. It's your boy Mike James, man. Kicking the shit. You know what it is. <laughs> King David, aka you can hit me on Outer Space Dave, all social media platforms. Outer Space Dave. Facts. My shit is Tweez 100. That's T W E E Z 100. All across the board. Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, anything. Word. Instagram. I think same. mine is MikeJames.info. But if it's incorrect, I make sure to put it below. You did. Facts. So that's our first podcast, guys. Let's go ahead and uh, I guess we out. Yeah, we out. Facts.